I'm Sarah Swan, and I've been creating Instagram posts. Um, They're like infographics about mental health and personal development. And also I sometimes do design. So I've been doing like Etsy. I've been doing some worksheets and workbooks on Etsy. And now I'm doing this confidence planner. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm doing my first journal. So the journal is going to be based on confidence as well. And then I'm going to do another planner as well, which would feature my illustrations on one side and then the weekly planner on the other. But anyway, as you can see, I, in this video here, I am doing some individual things for Instagram. So I love coffee and um, I started making all these like kind of cute illustrations. And as you can see, oh, and like one of them, like as you saw, like was about emotional neglect. So I also like to do stuff about emotional neglect attachment styles. I actually do these workshops on Meetup and I've been doing these attachment style workshops. And um, my current new like favorite quote is like from Gabriel Mahate, which is like, people have two needs, attachment and authenticity. When authenticity threatens attachment, attachment trumps authenticity. For that, what that means is that when, let's say a baby um, is guaranteed like they're able to get safety by attaching because you know as babies we need we need someone but um if let's say our authenticity threatens that attachment then authenticity gets thrown out the door and um I really yeah so but anyway so I've been doing these like attachment things and if you don't know what attachment it is it's pretty much like an emotional bound bond between the infant and the caregiver And it's our coping mechanism. Out of all mammals, we're the most helpless. And um, we can go into it later, but there's four attachment styles. As you see, too, I've been working on, like, somatic stuff. So there's, like, the behavior in the body wheel. I also have another one that's sensations in the body. So it's not just... And then, of course, I have the emotional wheel as well. Um, because that's also just as important as healing whatever you're trying to heal. Um, It's to be present in the body and to feel safe in the body. Oh, and some of these I actually haven't posted yet on my Instagram. So if you're watching this before I post, you might actually be seeing stuff that I haven't posted yet. So, and I like to, with these Instagram things, I actually like to be at least 30 days ahead of time. Sometimes it's more than that. So, yeah. Um, With this too, I was also working on the fight or flight. So, I don't know how familiar you are with PTSD or CPTSD. So, CPTSD is complex um, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It means you have multiple traumas because you have little T traumas, which happen multiple times over time. And then you also have big T traumas that happen maybe once and it has like a really emotional, like it has like this huge emotional response in your body or you feel unsafe based on that one event. And so anyways, um, fight, flight, freeze, fawn are four of the responses. Pete Walker, by the way, is really good to check out if you're interested in stuff like that. But um, yeah, so for fight, yeah, so for fight, we, um, it's kind of like you, it's the more aggressive kind of response. And then flight is sometimes you're avoiding by maybe you're distracting yourself. Maybe you're doing, you're doing some stuff, um, like video games, or maybe you're drinking, or maybe you're, um, doing a lot of work, you know? So it's kind of like you're trying to avoid it. Sometimes it could be physically running. And then freeze is like, that's when we kind of freeze, even numbing, you know, as in anything that kind of numbs you. But um, also like even depression can also be considered as the freeze response. And and then, of course, you have um, fawn, which is under codependency, kind of people pleasing where that's the last that's that's one of the last things you can do. Um, and it's just really interesting. The more I study about polyvagal theory and somatic um, there's just so much, but, um, yeah. And then now you see like the RAS. So the RAS is the reticular activating system. It's kind of like, and I, and I love this idea of this yellow car, red car thing, because yellow cars and red cars are all on the road, but sometimes we only see the yellow cars, 
right? This is like, let's say we believe we're not good enough. Well, we're only going to find evidence that we're not good enough. But if one day you buy a red car, suddenly you might start, you're going to start seeing that red car everywhere. And you're like, well, I didn't see that before, but it always existed, just like with the I'm not good enough. So if you start looking for evidence that you're good enough, that's kind of, um, you can start seeing evidence. Um, so it always existed. We just didn't maybe pay attention to it. And so I love that. And then as you see right here, I have stuff about the scarcity mindset and how to do reframes. I also do other reframes, like other how to reframe. I don't believe in affirmations, but I do believe that you can kind of go a step up. So if you do like affirmations, a good hint to do affirmations is, let's say you believe you're not good enough. Well, rather than going to, I'm good enough, right? Um, it might be too much of a stretch. So you can say, well, I'm getting a little bit better each day, or I'm doing 1% better each day, you know, so then you're going up in steps. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. And I love my little bees and my sandcastles. And I would like to start making stickers. I think that'd be really cool to start making like mental health or personal development stickers. So um, look out for that. Like I'm starting to figure out like what I want to do. Plus I'm a coach. So I actually, um, I coach people in relationships, but I would like to start coaching people like artists, um, maybe designers, illustrators, that kind of thing. People that kind of like me had a lot of artwork and a lot of skill, but kind of was afraid or didn't feel confident enough or felt like a lot of self-doubt or imposter syndrome. So yeah, anyway, look forward to that. And um, hopefully this is not too long. And so this is me. And if you like it, um, like or subscribe or share it to other people. And um, thank you for listening. And I know I'll get better as I as I go. So yeah, so thank you.